Hey there, Cancer. Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Halen. Today, we're going to take a look at your energy for September of 2024. And if this resonates with you, you can contact me for a private reading if you feel called. All my info is in the description box down below. Cancer, this message just started like this phrase. I don't even remember exactly what it was, but it was really talking to me that I was going to do your reading later. Um, but it was like, no, I need to do Cancer's reading right now as I laid out the cards. Sometimes I'll let them stew. Um, but it was this idea of Cancer now that they're gone. You appreciate them or even realize that you love them that much more. Um, and I hope that's not making you sad because it actually feels like a really uplifting energy. It's your um, maturation. It's really your destiny. I mean, it's part of your soul growth here. At the bottom of the deck, you'll see what I mean. Oh, see, ice, and then the green man, which is again, this word synergy showing up twice. I'll show you at the bottom of the deck, you've got shock and love shock and love and it's it's kind of like when you wake up they're not there right or when you're finally ready they're nowhere to be found. it's got this kind of energy and with synergy coming out also here at the bottom the green man to me is all about the resurrected man it's all about um when we talk about like resurrection and like Christian mysticism. It's like the being reborn into a higher vibration or timeline or consciousness, right? Christ consciousness is kind of like that. I think of the green man as, so when I said maturation and then I got that, that's really speaking to me here that I'm, I, whoever this is for, um, it's got to be for one of you out there, right? It's, I'm picking this up. And I want to read this. Well, let's see what it says. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can birth to a new reality. I feel I have this sneaking suspicion that someone was ready possibly for something before you were yet ready. Okay, it's got this kind of feeling. Um, but you're starting to awaken to your heart or awaken within that, you know, what I call the Christ consciousness. I can't even speak. Um, but it's that resurrection energy. It's like that. Now I see it. But sometimes it's the pain. It's the death. It's, it's not sometimes, actually. I think... I saw this video that was like God's greatest gift to you, right? Spirit's great at gift, gift, gift to you, the universe, whatever, is death. Death is always, always, without fail, a promotion. When we're being given the gift of death, whether it's the death of a, lo of a loved one or we are d dying or right? Our ego dies for um, our reputation and our idea of our reputation, or we have an ego death when it comes to whatever it could be our, you know, our own children, uh, the car we drive, what we do for a living, you know, uh, who we are, our partner, like it's, it's so many, so many things. Um, our physical health, like losing a loved one, that's always a promotion into, right, the, the resurrection, the green man. It's like a whole new, but it's this love here is, there's shock to it, right? And the synergy is talking about results that combine for new ways of being. It makes me think of like a symbiotic relationship, but also those relationships, like those parasitic relationships, but where like one is or it's symbiotic, right? It's like one can be leeching off the other, but it's like fine for both, um, or it doesn't phase the other one. I mean, there's all kinds of interesting things I remember learning in biology like that, right? Where you have like a host and 
but it's not always uh, detrimental. And it's making me think about if there's a love, something that you have loved, I don't care if it's a car or a human being, and you've lost it, you'll recognize how much you appreciate and love it and how your energies combine to create something so special. So um, let's start at the beginning because this is what your reading's about, but there's so much more to it. Your recent past is showing that you've been through a really fucking hard time. Um, the, the cards that I have, but it, it's showing that it's been for healing. So you've got purification, but it's just so dark and dreary, right? Normally, I don't always view this rain card as dark, but with these cards, Into the Unknown and Moonlight, it was like, has cancer been through the underworld? And it looks like you have been. It looks like you've been through an extremely difficult period of time. It could be a health crisis where you have no answers, right? Um, losing a loved one and not knowing how to move on. I mean, it's, it's like the trenches of life in the rain, in the mud, blind, blindfolded, can't see where you're going, can't see the reason why, nothing makes sense, none of it. And it's showing surgical imprints, which that's why, I mean, it could be something about health, but this means it cuts deep, right? It's deep. It's like the kind of shit that people could spend like 30 years physically healing from. Um, it's just... Like it makes me think of somatic therapy, why we need it, why we need like massage and touch and movement. Um, that actually came out a little bit in Aries reading, side note. Um, but it's kind of like, it makes me think of these crazy stories I saw when I would watch regular TV as a kid, many, many moons ago, where you'd find out someone had all these health problems and, and you discover someone left like a piece of gauze inside of them during surgery. And it's like that stuck with them that many years caused that many problems. And it was, it was something that was like accidentally left there. And it makes me think about like little black energy balls, like stones that can be trauma that can get lodged in places of your body, like almost calcified, it's strange trauma. Um, and it's been really difficult and it's almost like you may have even had physical trauma. There's, there's definitely a trauma here. Um, it could be spiritual trauma, mental, emotional, physical, it doesn't matter. There's trauma here that's left a mark and it's something that you have like a forever scar from. But here's the sweet spot with felt sense of protection. So it's showing, and it's also clarified by Tantric Journey, which we'll read. I'm feeling called to read this as well. I don't always read them, but um, it's like you are, it's kind of like when you find that spot where the trauma is being held, pardon me, or someone's rubbing your back and you feel that release, that's the sweet spot. And as it releases, you can feel that felt sense of protection. Interesting with Tantric Journey, because it could be potentially like a sexual relationship or a loving relationship, because this love is coming out. That's like, what is going on? Um, where you, it, it, there, there could be release in that way you know, sacred sexuality and the act of that can actually be extremely healing um, for our masculine and feminine energies. The frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. So this could have to do with um, potentially sexual trauma, um, it is interesting because that sweet spot with tantric journey, it does kind of make you think about like the sweet spot, right? Like, and then the felt sense of protection. That it makes me wonder if you have a, it doesn't have to be a person, but I feel like maybe it's physical touch or you've had a physical relationship, sensual, I would say sensual relationship with another that has honestly right it's what I was saying I just have to stick with this very specific message for you it's like it's shown up for you even in the darkness like even when you're blindfolded and in the moonlight and you can't see anything and you don't even it's like maybe you're like blacked out drunk basically or like you don't know who the fuck you are you're in the midst of an ego death or and there's been something here that's shown up but it's like before you were ready, but it did help, but this shit so deep within you. Okay, so I feel like they've been here. Someone's been here for you. 
even when you couldn't see them because you've got your own stuff going on. So then it leads you to the current energy, which is karma, DNA. And you have the watchers, transpersonal, and education. And I instantly was just like, whoa. You know, cancer is really, this has been intense. And I almost wonder if this is, I am noticing this sort of tantric looking, you know, double helix or, was that what it is? DNA, but it makes me think of you've been through something spiritually overwhelming and I instantly thought like of you hearing voices or something like with the watchers transpersonal and for some reason the DNA karma like you could have a gift or but it's because it was here to teach you about this within yourself which I think it's like you almost opened up to a psychic or spiritual gift that has taught you a lot of information wisdom um to help you with your physical healing, your spiritual, mental, emotional, whatever this is here that's going on that's trying to naturally heal within you. Take psychosis, for example. It's actually something that um, it people believe that it can have. It's like nature's way of, like there's natural order to it, even though it could be absolutely chaotic to us witnessing someone really full-fledged go through it. I have, and it's awful, and it's devastating. But... I will say the individual that I love who is going through or was going through psychosis um, had so much trauma that was almost repressed and within their bodies that they couldn't even tap into. But they, in their psychosis, became so incredibly hyper psychic, even though it was also completely chaotic and delusional. Um, it was like they were also so extremely wise. It blew my mind. And there's something like that about this here. It's like this has all happened, like the chaos of it, the density of it, the heaviness of it with your ancestors here, with the watchers and the DNA. It's all been here to teach you something. It's not like it's all been happening, the disarray, the pain, whatever, to just disrupt you and disorient your life. It's It's been here to heal you. It's been here to help you process or see or learn about something. And it comes out with play, integration, and then separation. And it's almost like it starts out like when people disassociate out of their bodies because that's nature's way of making sure you're okay, right? You play, it's like you have fun or you feel really good when you're in extreme pain, right? Um, because it's nature's way of making, it's like helping you survive. But what's really happening here, this education, this integration, and it's pointing out a wound and it's, a, it's an abandonment wound, it's a separation wound, it's something very deep within you. It could be like never knowing a biological parent or um, it's something here right? Harkening back to this surgical imprint. It's like bringing that to the surface. It's like, oh, we, someone left a piece of gauze in, in this woman's body 20 years ago when she had hip replacements or, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. So it's kind of like fun and woo. Like I was saying psychosis at first, like it's not fun, but it also is d disassociative. But then it's not meant to stay that way forever. It's meant to integrate you into the loss, into the pain, into the root of the situation. And what's interesting is you've got throat chakra, so you might be more vocal right now. It says, the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance, which I don't feel you've had the, a sense of peace and balance. And I mean, from this, if this has resonated with you so far, I do feel there's been love outside of you for you, um, potentially romantic love that you haven't been able to even partake in fully because of pain that you maybe weren't even aware of because you were splitting off from your own body or something, maybe even like, because your ancestors, it's like spiritual intervention trying to bring you information and help you. Um, and it's, it's like mystical in nature. It's not logical. It doesn't make sense. It's kind of like ancient, ancient medicine or ways of healing or something like nature's way of healing things where it's like it can get worse before it gets better what it's trying to highlight here you might be more expressive of 
like this has nothing to do also with this individual. Like the current energy is all about you and what's going on with you and you expressing this and holy shit, like there's a lot. There might be a lot coming up and out of you right now, which is interesting. Or that might be highlighted that you're not, that it's not coming up and out. But watch where you're headed. You've got this unfoldment and it's just, look at that. It's just beautiful. It's just gorgeous. And I will show you, I'll ruin the surprise. It's allowance is the clarifier. It's like, just allow this to blossom. Maybe it's again, this feeling of like, you don't know what you got till it's gone. <laughs> and they pay paradise and put up a parking lot. Um, you're blossoming it's like you're ready to love or something and it's like you're awakening it's like the skies are parting the light is showing up what's so beyond strange is that i don't see them here anymore like the energy that was there almost maybe like you took it for granted or something and i don't mean it to be rude or, or to shame you because i'm not a fan of shame but it's like the dry desert in one ring circus it's like you wake you awaken and you're just alone it's like where'd they go like I closed my eyes for one minute I disassociated right I don't know and it wasn't you it's like your body and nature and like what you're going through with this heavy trauma that I'm and I'm seeing maybe from this here a little one maybe there was like a, a miscarriage an abortion a lost child maybe this is you and an abandonment wound like I said, like not knowing a biological parent or maybe it's womb trauma. Um, I did not believe in that shit, you guys. And I had this session, actually it was with the woman who made this deck. And I've never had such a cathartic session in my fucking life. It was tripped me out. She was like, I mean, I don't know what that was. And it was, I do now actually, wow. But at the time it was the most profound it still is one of the most profound. It is just without physical. I wasn't with her in person. Um, she's a friend of mine named Christina. And I did this womb trauma, like from like memories from when you're in the womb and so much came up. It's kind of like past life healing stuff, right? It's, it's like stuff that you just would never anticipate and it's everything. Like it'll change your world. What I'm saying is, is this is this is deep, right? And but it's see how this is like a positive card. It's not that surgical imprint. It's not the separation. It's like there's more sense to what this has been. And you're befriending the unknown rather than splitting off from your own body and being fearful of it and unconditional love and acceptance. It's really beautiful. But where are they? But you've got this allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way, right? This is what you're showing here, befriending the unknown, unconditional love, acceptance, unfoldment. Without judgment, without opinion, fear, resistance, when we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. And that's clearly what you're doing here. It's clearly what you're doing here, but see at the bottom, what is this? You, it's like you love someone that you once knew that you shut out or that, you know, because you couldn't, you couldn't meet them there because you were, it was like you were underwater or something and they were on land, if that makes any kind of sense. So this is your destiny, your story, your maturation. There could be an overwhelm of emotion, but it's to transform you into, wow, look at that. Being open to being saved. We're getting a lot of Christian shit now because I actually feel like I'm saying saved by God, <laughs> like saved by the universe. I've been saved by grace. Like I literally, that was the word that my spirit guide used. And um, yeah, grace like saved my soul but it was the freakiest most cathartic and and nonsensical experience of my life and I feel like you're opening up to that here it'll change you forever because it's like it's like that Alice in Wonderland meme or whatever where she's with Dorothy and she's like I've seen some shit right 
and you've got Gentle Gardener here, Lay of the Land. It's like, look at all this shit. Your ancestors have been like guiding you. You've got, it's so weird. I actually saw this card earlier and I couldn't remember what it was from. I saw that woman. Um, write your ancestors looking over you. Ancestral wisdom looking over you on this, what? This rock where you're, they're trying to save you. That's what happened to me. It was like this mystical grace. Grace is the magic that swoops in and saves you, right? It's like they've been here for you. Nature's way of awakening you. That you are being protected by the elements and all these forces here. And there's this witness, which is like the watchers, but also what's so fascinating, right? Is you're witnessing your own mystical experience and there's no words to explain that what you can have is the spirit of gratitude and be guided home and you're opening now you are really opening now right into me i see an opening to discovery with another lotus like i couldn't ask for a like if this person that you're not in contact with anymore here. Um, if you're still on their mind, I, I bet you this is like, this is what they always prayed for for you. If maybe they're a loved one who's passed on, that's really showing up here too, right? But this is what they always pray for for you. What you're going through this month, what you're experiencing, it's actually making me emotional. So let's get an inner child oracle. Very fitting for you. Um, let's go ahead and see what wants to come out for Cancer to finalize this, this reading. See a paradise, but a book talking about. Okay, you've got run wild. It is time to give in to the wild childlike nature that nature that resides in all of us. Cultivate the spirit of play and allow yourself to get messy. Go barefoot in the it's kind of like if you were in therapy and like allowing people to hear your actual story or to like see your ugly tears and you know it's like the beginning of you opening. You know, vulnerability is the true strength in life. Go barefoot in the mud. Be outside in the rain, finger paint, and just be unproductive. Find pleasure in letting go of the notion that you have outgrown your untamed nature, allowing your inner child to run wild. I love that. And the get lost is at the bottom, and I feel like that's what's happened. Uh, and I feel like you're reclaiming yourself again. I gotta leave this out so I don't forget to use it at the end of every... Um, every sign that I'm filming for. I'm gonna end this reading here. Thank you so much, Cancer, for being here with me. If you have been, I truly hope this resonates and I hope I will see you again next time. And don't be shy to reach out if you like this. The personal readings can always be a lot more specific, obviously. All right, love you guys. Mwah.